Well, hey, YouTube. Matt and Roy back again. I'm going to try a little something different today. This is going to be the vlog for, let's see, it is December 8th. And uh, you can see my ugly mug here. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I am still filming with the Sony DCR TRV 280, mainly because I like this camera. And even though it's not high definition, I think it takes a very, very good picture. And if you want, I can turn the light on. But I think that kind of drowns me out a little bit. So what do I have to talk about today? Well, let's flip you guys over. Not too much has changed. Um, if you remember, I did set up the, uh, the Sega Genesis, the AT Games version. And uh, I have had a few comments about the review I did on this. I know I wasn't too in-depth. A couple people had asked me about uh, compatibility issues. Uh, there are some cartridges uh, that will not work in this, but because I don't actually have any right now, um, I can't do any testing. Uh, your best bet, if you're really interested in this, is to search online. I, am, I know there are people that have done other reviews on this. And Google it. If you want this system to play a specific game, Google that and see if it'll work with that cartridge. Uh, this is going to be an upcoming project right here. Uh, I can bring this up. This is something that I got when I was up in New York from a friend. Actually, my uh, grandmother's neighbor. This is an Element brand. I believe it's a 19 or a 20 inch uh, HD TV slash monitor. And uh, she was going to throw it out. This actually has a problem, I think, in the... Uh, not the power board, but it's probably the uh, main board or the uh, tuner board because it'll turn on and it'll say that there's no signal, but that's it. If you put any source to it, be it com well, be a composite or HDMI, nothing will come on. So obviously something wrong with the board here. And of course she put, gave me this uh, cute little note. Matt, here's the monitor that you wanted that doesn't work. It's actually a TV with a PC on it, <laughs> PC input on it. I have your $100 for the second tower. Yeah, she bought a, a computer tower off of me. And just in case, she actually was just going to put this outside, but I was able to see her again before we left, and she just gave it to me in person. Uh, not too much to say about this. I think this is just one of those cheap, probably was even a Black Friday deal. You can see on the back here, you got one HDMI, a uh, VGA, and wow, if you look really close, you can see, because she had this in her barn, you can see that this has actually started rusting. Um, you can see a little bit of rust there, and then some corrosion right on the HDMI port. Got PC audio in. Uh, this top one here is probably for, let's see, yeah, that's your component. Green, blue, and red, and of course the audio jacks. And then you have your composite with S-Video. Uh, that one's coaxial audio out, and then of course your uh, UHF, VHF in. I do not believe this has an HD tuner, but don't quote me on that because I've never actually had this working. Uh, you can see that somebody, at one time he had used this uh, probably as a wall mount. This looks like some kind of custom made wall mount. Could have been bought from a store, I'm not sure, but they probably had it hanging up somewhere. But luckily she still had the stand with it. You guys can pause the video if you want to read the information. It's an Element Electronics brand. It was made in June of 2008. Of course, made in China, like all the best things are nowadays. <laughs> and on the side here, you just have a one lonely um, headphone jack. That's about all there is to say about that. Um, down here, the HP is still going strong. Don't worry about it. Um, I may be doing some uh, gaming videos with this. I just have been really crazy busy around here for the holidays, so haven't really had a chance to do any that many videos at all, except for those little short ones. Hope everybody liked that one with LT. Uh, let's see, the HP Photo Smart 7525, still working as good as ever. I don't actually use it that much, but you know, it, it, you, you want to use these sparingly because inkjet printers these days aren't built the best, and this is probably the best of any you can buy out there. I mainly use this for printing photos, and if I absolutely need to print something in color. Otherwise, I use the uh, LaserJet uh, 2300 over here. 
And about a week ago, I don't even know if I showed you guys this yet, I picked up two things of photo paper. Is uh, One was open, so I just took it out of the package. Uh, this is HP branded. If you look at the package here, HP branded, fo branded photo paper, premium photo paper, and looks like this is 100 sheets. And this is the so uh, soft gloss or semi glosses, which I like. I don't like the matte and I don't like the super glossy. This is something kind of in between. And you can see this is actually on the older side. This dates from around 2007. But I'm always finding these at garage sales, so I try to pick them up when I can. I uh, still have that Windows XP gateway system. Haven't really decided. I've been trying to sell it, but I've had no bites, so I might wind up keeping it. If I'd, I have it listed right now for $60. It's got a 120 gig hard drive with 2 gigs of RAM, um, and it's a hyperthread Pentium 4. Nothing spectacular, but, you know, if if I can't get more than 60 bucks for it, I'll probably hold on to it and just use it as like a NAS server or something. Still have the gateway. Um, I, I know I've been promising you guys this for a while, and once the holidays are over, I will be doing some gaming videos on this. I finally got the video card working properly. I had... Uh, this It was a nightmare. I've had driver issues galore with that. You, as you remember, I had the uh, Voodoo 3 uh, in there originally, but the card was bad, so I had to swap it out for a GeForce 2 MX400, which I personally like better anyway. But... Uh, I had the hardest time getting the drivers to work properly with Windows 98. Um, I went to NVIDIA. I got two or three of the, the drivers they had. The latest driver for that just kept crashing. Uh, the second to the latest, everything would run slow. I finally was able to go to, uh, and I forgive me, I don't remember the website, but it was one of these um, personal websites. And somebody had an old driver, I think, from around 2004. And that one seems to work okay, so... Look for this after the holidays, everybody. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a few minutes. Um, we're, going, we're actually putting up decorations now. You can see right there, there is the uh, star for the top of the tree. Once we have all that done, I'll bring you guys in and show you what it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and turn this light on. And I'll show you our Christmas decorations for this year. This is the uh, TV room. First thing we have is this little box that my mother has to get a uh, extension cord for. I'm going to go ahead and try to turn this. There we go. Turn this light on. It's cute. One of her bosses gave it to her last year. It just kind of lights up. Uh, white lights only, but we have to get an extension cord because we have to have fish it all the way back there. I think the only other thing we have in here that, for this year is this little uh, LED Christmas tree. Go ahead and plug that in and show you guys what it looks like. And I'll have to turn the light off. It looks much better when it's totally dark. It's a really pretty tree. It turns different colors and uh, I kind of like it. It definitely fits for the room because at night, uh, my mom and I, we spend a lot of time in here watching movies. So it's nice to be able to look at something. Remember, it is the season. And we have to go downstairs for the rest of the decorations. This is my mom's thing. She loves to decorate. As you can see, the first thing we have here is another one of those uh, LED... This one's actually a fiber optic tree. She uh, puts her plates up there, a little bit of garland. See, we have love, joy... Peace and hope. Isn't that a gorgeous, gorgeous tree? She even likes to put a little extra decorations on it. This one for boxes. And if you come in here, our tree is not actually uh, decorated yet. This is one of those um, pre lit trees, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, Turn that off so the copyright police don't get me. <laughs> um, it is a pre-lit tree. There are uh, regular lights. These are not LEDs, but you put it together. It's just a fake tree, which is not my favorite, but it is easier. Uh, up here, Mom has strung her garland up. 
There you go. Very, very nice. Some garland on the wreath. She likes doing these pine cones. She actually sprayed these pine cones white. Um, if I turn the light off, you might be able to see it better. Yeah, there you go. Got some garland on the... Uh, I can't for life me think of what you call those. Nice wreath above the TV. So, my mom really, really likes to decorate for the holidays. Got the stocking hanging up. That's actually my stocking. My uh, parents don't actually put stockings up for each other anymore. <laughs> this is something really nice that our good friend Margaret, if you guys remember the uh, best fried chicken video, one of my most popular videos, the same lady, Margaret, actually made this little quilt here. It says, uh, let's see, Glory to the Newborn King. If you go up here, Hark the Herald, Angels Sing. And there's one on this side, too. you got, of course, the Christian cross, because Jesus is the reason for the season. And that's also Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So very, very pretty. She gave, this, gave that to us last year. And she decorated her table again this year. Nice centerpiece. We actually got that. My old high school does a craft fair uh, every year. And we got that from my old high school at the craft fair, uh, I think that was two years ago. And she put a couple other wreaths. My mom loves her wreaths. Little sled there. Uh, this also came from the uh, craft fair at the high school. And then we just have a few of these Christmas pot holders in the kitchen. She doesn't believe in decorating the kitchen too much. <laughs> And if we come through here, my mom did something a little different. You can see this with the Christmas tree in the stand. Both of these, believe it or not, actually came from that same uh, high school, my old high school uh, craft fair. And this was probably four or five years ago now. Got a little centerpiece here and uh, a little more garland hanging on the uh, lamp fixture here. I don't know exactly what you would call that, but this again also came from the craft fair. My mom goes to that every year. The one thing we didn't do this year, we decided not to put the little balls in here just because it's a lot of work and it really doesn't add anything to it. It's kind of out of out of date and gaudy now. Those are those big uh, glass colored balls that people used to use back in the 80s and 90s. <laughs> See, we have a few more things to do. And the very last thing out here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what our outdoor decorations look like. And what I can do is uh, walk down here and give you a kind of a pan view. You can see we put the net lights out. You can look closer and see that. There we go. It looks really good at night. And what I'll do is I'll try to take a picture of this at night as well. Uh, we hung the bells on front. We have the garland going around the posts. Net lights on this side too. It shows up a little better here. And then of course we have these bells that are hung up right near the roof of the uh, porch. We pretty much do the same thing every year, but we think it looks good. And then the door has the garland going around it uh, with a wreath in the middle. And then we have candy canes on each side. We had a little trouble this year because we two of our net lights have gone bad for whatever reason. They're old, so probably the bulbs started to go out. Or These wires nowadays are not made too well, so if they get pinched the wrong way, you wind up developing a short. So... You can see that only half of my mom's little pine tree here is covered, but if you look at it from the front, it doesn't look too bad. And last but not least, we have the wreath hanging over the garage. Well, that's about it for the vlog today, guys. I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of our Christmas decorations. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.